Pinterest, the social network earning all the buzz, is a fitting online environment for grocery retailers to set up camp. Deemed a project-oriented social network, it's become a digital destination for over 10 million registered users who visit the site to browse pins and get ideas, a good number of which revolve around food and recipes. Whole Foods Market has been one of the first companies to really grasp what Pinterest is to its users. The company has seen early success with over 19,000 general followers and has some boards with over 32,000 followers. The key to Whole Foods success, according to the page's manager, Michael Bepko, is paying attention to to what people are asking for. Following this strategy, Whole Foods has created numerous boards for their followers, with titles ranging from Go Go Gadgets and We're Used to Reusing to Who Wants Dinner and Cheese is the Bee's Knees. All seek to provide their followers with fun, simple, and interesting finds from across the web. What you won't find on the Whole Foods Pinterest, however, is a board promoting Whole Foods stores or their products. It's a content curating site and does not suit the online store face model that Facebook and Twitter have seen grow popular with brands on their networks. This relaxed, personable approach to customer communication seems to be working, as Whole Foods pins are popping up all over the web. However, as is the case with most social media, it's difficult to accurately gauge the site's ROI. Watch out for those dollar stores, that when the Lempert Report continues. ConAgra Foods. With brands like these, we can't help but smile. ConAgra Foods. Food you love. Supermarkets that don't yet focus on dollar stores and the trip threats that they pose better wake up. They've proliferated in the down economy. The top four dollar chains in the United States, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, and 99 Cent Only, have 21,500 stores, already more stores than the nation's major drug chains, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. These stores have a voracious appetite for food sales and food-based trips, with perishables a key part of their offer to meet fill-in needs and differentiate from drugstore food assortments, which aren't always as expansive in frozen and refrigerated merchandise. Consumable sales have been strategic to dollar store growth since the earliest spottings of expensive cars in their parking lots at the start of the recession. Everyone needs to eat, and everyone loves a deal, it seems. Dollar Tree, for example, offers frozen and refrigerated foods in over 2,200 stores, about half of all the stores they have. Food, snacks, and beverages were also among Dollar Tree's best category performers in the latest quarter. Family Dollar saw consumables sales advance 12 percent in its fiscal fourth quarter 2011 due to the expanded assortments, more intuitive merchandising adjacencies, new fixtures, navigational signage, and more promotional activities. Scott Zucker of the 7100 store Family Dollar chain noted how consumables have been a key part of the chain's new path forward and coolers have grown to 12 per store. The Lemper Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelemperreport.com.